Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about LSA. Here we have menus from the restaurant. Intuitively you know these menus are American food and these menus are Japanese food. If you use bag of words, the pizza and hamburger doesn't have similarity because cosine similarity. So if you are calculating the dot product of pizza and hamburger, eventually we will get the zero. So there is no similarity between hamburger and the pizza which is just the same as the cosine similarity of the pizza and ramen. Even if you use the TF-IDF, we'll have the same zero similarity for pizza and hamburger since they don't have the same words. So why this happen? That's because the TF-IDF or the bag of words similarity is based on the word. But if we are talking about American food or Japanese food, these are actually topic. TFIDF or the bag of words similarity is not based on the topic. And today's takeaway, LSA similarity is based on the topic. So here is the menu again, and I made a matrix, word document matrix here, I will call it A matrix. And you can see here, every rows here, the words and the columns are the document. Since every rows will word, if you do the SVD, the singular vector decomposition, the U matrix will be the word matrix for the topic, and the V transpose will be document matrix for topic, because you use the, the document as a columns uh, in A matrix here, right? And uh, lastly, the sigma matrix is the topic strength. Since we are interested in the document similarity, we are going to just calculate the sigma multiplication with uh, the V transpose here. And we need to choose optimal dimension size here, since I'm going to plot this on the 2D matrix, I'm going to just select the uh, biggest two numbers here. And uh, the sigma matrix uh, feature is like uh, it has the values in the descending order. So I'm going to select 1.9 and 1.7 here. So eventually we are going to multiply these green cells. And you have this matrix now. And now we have every document in the two dimension. So two dimension is your T1 dimension and T2 dimension. T1 stands for topic 1, T2 stands for the topic 2. And you have this uh, plot here, and the D1 and T3 in the same position, and the D2 is just far away from the D1 and T3, but they are on the same axis. And the D4 and D5 is on the same D2, T2 axis, and the D6 is on the same T2 axis, but a little bit far from the D4 and D5. If you calculate the cosine similarity, the D1 and D2, D1, D3, D2, D3, they have all same one, which is the greatest value. So same similarity. And if you also calculate uh, D4 and D5, D4, D6, D5 and D6 uh, cosine similarity, they have also same similarity as one, which is the greatest value. But if you calculate the cosine similarity between the green dot and the blue dot, the cosine similarity will be zero. That means they, they don't have a similarity. So eventually know that the T1 is American food and the topic 2 is the Japanese food. And the reason why D2 is far away from the D1 and D3 because D2 has a pizza, hamburger, cookie. There are three American menus here. And the reason why D6 is far away from the D4 and D5 because uh, no, D6 has two Japanese foods there. But the cosine similarity is ignoring the strengths of this vector. Uh, they all have the kind of same topic. So D1, D3, D2 are same. And the D4, D5, and D6 have the same similarity. Uh, that's all. That's all for today. I hope this video helps you to understand LSA. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next video.